Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for this child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate Epiphany, the manifestation of the divine. In our first reading from the prophet Isaiah, we hear talk of the glory of God being shining through the people of Israel. And through the people of Israel, it is called to shine to all the nations. The manifestation of God is not just meant for a single person, Abraham, or a single family, Abraham and Sarah and their children and offspring, or even just one nation, the people of Israel. It is meant for all. How does this manifestation affect us? Well, if we listen to our gospel today, we hear the shepherds are rejoiced. They receive the message of the angels, and they accept it. They go and they give glory to God. We hear the magi, Gentiles, have received the gift of the shining star in the sky. They accept it, and they go and give homage to Jesus. We have Herod, who does not accept it, who rejects the message of God. Herod doesn't want others to live in the light. Not only does he not want to live in the light, not only does he reject the light, but he does not want others to see the light. He seeks to destroy it. He would prefer to live in the darkness of his own selfishness instead of allowing others to live in light, peace, and joy. We have been called out of the darkness of this world to be the light of Christ. Each of us is called to make the choice. Are we going to live a light of life? Are we going to let our light shine in the world, the light of Christ shine through us into the world? The gospel today has a couple of stark images contrasting each other. We, of course, have the rejection, Herod's rejection of Jesus and the Messiah, and we have the acceptance by the Magi of the Messiah. We have Herod, who lives in luxury, wealth, and a well, easy life, while others live in poverty and desperation. We have Jesus, who is humble in his beginnings, being born in a major, living a simple life, being simple. The Magi don't just come to see Jesus. Notice, they're not just going to see and visit and see what this star is all about. It says in the scriptures, they come to do him homage. How do they give him homage? Well, the scriptures say that they prostrate themselves, kneel before the baby, and give gifts. They give three gifts that have great significance and symbolism. The gift of gold, 
which symbolizes royalty and kingship, the kingship of Christ. They give frankincense, which is used to worship, to worship God. This points to the divinity of Jesus. And of course, they give myrrh, which is a burial ointment. This signifies the humanity of Christ and his death and passion, which is to come. According to St. Gregory, the gifts also represent gifts that we present to Christ. Gold is Christ's wisdom shining through us. Frankincense represents our prayers and adoration before Christ. Myrrh represents our daily self-sacrifice, our sacrifice united with the ultimate sacrifice of Christ on the cross to build up the kingdom of God. So what gifts do we bring? Many people would think, well, I have no gift to give to God. But everyone, everyone has a gift to build up the kingdom of God. Every one of us was born in this world with a role to play in bringing about the kingdom of God here on earth. The truth is, is that God is indeed at work in the world, not just in Mary and Joseph's life in a spectacular way, but also in little ways in our world and in our lives. And we are called to be a participant with him in the building up of that kingdom. The feast, this feast, is a clear call for us. Just as ancient Israel was enlightened by the glory of God and then radiated that light to the rest of the world, just as the Magi followed east to the star to find the child Jesus and bravely proclaimed what they had found, so we too are called out of the darkness of our own complacency into the light of being witnesses to Christ, being a Christian witness. Today, God is using us, calling us, turning a light on for others. There is going to be light in the world. It has to come from us. We are called to be a light in the world of darkness. And just as we believe in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, let us pray to have the faith to see the presence of God in every event of our lives.